Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018 <clears throat> and while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Aquarius a star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore um, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also if you find these reports helpful uh, and you want to know more about the Aquarius uh, star sign for the month of November, specifically career and relationship, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49, again from my website, and there I'm to do a, a two spreads in one video, the one for career and one for relationship. That being said, going with the general spread now for the month, the first card that we do have is regarding the topic of Aquarius this month, and this is going to be the Moon card. So that will be rather... Uh, I don't want to say stressful more really, but I don't know the real term in English, but it's going to be more serrated with ups and downs. I <clears throat> Many things that are to happen throughout the month aren't going to make much sense for you and uh, you will not find a reason why these things are happening. Ultimately those things are going to play a, a major role for your distant future but for now uh, they are to baffle you quite a lot and I'm not talking about that bad things are to happen guys. Many things could happen and uh, uh, kind of like good and bad. That's why I said that it's going to be dappled with ups and downs. The thing with the moon card is that you cannot really say why or toward what purpose those events, those undertakings, those those actions are to take place in your life. Because the moon card, it's, it's a, a very strange card. It does point to a path that you are to take, but this path goes beyond the summit here, which points that you cannot see the real reason and the real purpose of... Um, of why um, you know certain events are taking place or why you have to take these specific actions it's just it's not going to make much sense with the um with uh, the things that you know at this very moment when you compare it to the things that you know at this very moment and with the circumstances that are um, taking place. But the Moon card has a, a little bit as well more practical meaning. Uh, the Moon card asks you to uh, combine your imagination with your creativity and with your wisdom and um, therefore you are and through through this uh, combination through this segregation you are to achieve great creative results this this will be a very potent month for writers painters um, in generally people of art like musicians as well you know actors etc etc they are to score great results but for the rest of us um, and for the rest of you Aquarius is going to be rather more hectic month than a um, peaceful one the next card is the best possible course of action toward that direction we do have the five of swords so this is a um, more like a warning card the five of swords asks you to be very accountable to your decisions and to be rather like to think twice before you actually execute a particular um a particular action or to take a, a particular decision and uh, of course you will not know toward what end this is going to go forward but at least what you can do in that specific time is to think about what are going to be the immediate consequences that is very important so um, if there is a certain conflict with um, with your decisions that you are to make for example into your career you are to make a decision on a specific problem but this uh, your decision is to create more problems not to you but you but to your co-workers you know you have to first consult yourself with them otherwise they are to repay you back what I mean is that they are to strive to make a revenge upon you also this card points that you have to be no matter how painful um, 
your thoughts are, you have to express them. For example, if you have criticism toward colleagues or toward your partner into your career or friends and family etc etc you have to share those thoughts otherwise uh, they are going to be uh, buried beneath the surface and they are going to immerse in the uh, worst moment possible which is going to open deep and heavy wounds in every single uh, one of you the next card that we do have this is to be the challenges which are causing predicaments here and that will be the five of pentacles typical card follows of the moon card which is the topic of the month you are to feel a sense you are going to have a sense of insecurity here it is kind of like you are to take those um vague events happening as a uh, challenges or not even challenges but as the uh, troubles which are um, taking place in multiple fronts therefore you may start feeling that your place at your career is um, is threatened that your relationship is going downhill like you may kind of like adopt the um the, ima the imaginary thought, the celluloid thought that your partner is planning to leave you uh, behind. You may think that your friends are not um, are loyal to you. And also this card points on a very uh, superficial level. This card points to poverty and to um, material leak, kind of like lack of finances. But that is not going to be the case for, every single, uh, for everybody of uh, the uh, Aquarius Politra here but rather it points to a sense of insecurity for example this um, these events happening into your career um, let's say that you do have a certain project you are planning to take but this project in the last minute is given to someone else you may start thinking that your boss is trying to get rid of you um, <clears throat> for some reason you know but what you don't know is that probably another project is cooking which is for you you know that's why why this project that it is given to your co-worker doesn't make much sense i mean this this giveaway doesn't make much sense to you although until this very moment you have negotiated the terms of how you're gonna take it etc etc so there uh, my point here is that there will be things that you will not know about the surrounding circumstances and that's why you should not make a, a buy conclusions upon what is <clears throat> what is happening and toward what end this thing is happened is happening neither toward neither into your career and neither into your relationship mm. the next card here is uh, representing the resources that you can capitalize on <clears throat> so uh, the page of Pentacles it's a, a card of devotion it is a, a card of um, solid structure and it is a, a card of slow and steady progress therefore a resource that you can capitalize on is still a um, you will still have a undertakings here which are rock solid and even though the um, <clears throat> the vagueness of the circumstances surrounding your life um, are in presence they will not be able to uh, shake the foundations of those undertakings which are rock solid what i'm trying to say is that you can um grasp yourself in um or rather on uh, a solid ground somewhere in your life and this is thing that you need to focus on so instead of being prone to kind of like try to um it seems to be to being prone to try to manage the so-called crisis the fictionary crisis which is which is arising these cards here all these four cards here is adv are advising you excuse me for you to instead focus on those things which you have i um, complete control over and uh, uh, give as much devotion as possible in them until you know everything else is sorted out because with these cards your efforts will not help even the slightest that these vague circumstances to be sorted out on, even on the contrary i mean you may you could make more damage than uh, than to help it and as i gave a um, example into your career you know here instead of uh, focusing on finding why you know or disputing why that project which was promised to you is given to someone else you can focus on your own ready current undertakings that are going in there 
<clears throat> and do as best as you can to advance with them forward and then you are going to see when all this is resolved you are to see that actually at the end of the day things are to turn out for you in a, a big favor as a probably another project will immerse or you are to be reassigned in a better position same thing goes into your relationship don't have a, a biased um, conclusions for the behavior of your partner and the last card that we do have this is going to be the uh, final outcome uh, for the month or what will be the results of all that and we do have the seven of wands and seven of wands here speaks that there, there will be not just a competition but additional predicaments probably at the end of the month as a result of all that because this this particular situation will not um, how can I place it? Will not affect only you, Aquariuses, but also will have some. Um, <clears throat> how can I place it? Uh, will also have some impact upon the environment of the rest of the people that you are involved in in your situation, and um, some nerves are going to basically snap. I mean, people will not going to be able to resist the pressure, and they will be to succumb in there. And this is a, a typical situation where everybody is for oneself. Everybody will try to. Um, <clears throat> end up on the upper hand for the expense of others you may expect that rumors are going to be spread you may expect that people are going to start acting surreptitiously so they can uh, so they can end up on the upper hand of the matter here and if these actions are taken against you you know uh, you have to aim to intercept and uh, slumber the opposition and the aggression uh, when when it is in initial state because it's when it is a um <clears throat> when it is displayed by the seven of wands it escalates very very quickly and the seven of wands also is a card which is going to be the end of the test so that will be at the end of the month the situation of vagueness and insecurity will be the most heaviest i mean you're going to feel it with a, a highest amplification here and that could make your nerves snap as well and you could be the one doing stupid things so <clears throat> you basically need to have a huge self-control because what we do have as a result of all that is a, a test either inwardly or either outwardly so uh, that being said Aquarius this was your monthly tarot reading for November 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this was just a general reading for Aries star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I did my best here to explain you the meanings of uh, the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you guys at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.